the name of the Son, the Father, and the Holy Ghost, bless this review. The Conjuring 2 is directed by James Wan and stars Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga from the first Conjuring film, and this time takes place in London. A family is being haunted by an old man in their house and possesses their young daughter. They seek out the help of Ed and Lorraine Warren because the supernatural world is normal to them. Both of them go and help this young family and realize that this might be their worst case ever. I was terrified to see The Conjuring 2 because James Wan does an amazing job directing his films. They are truly scary, they are subtle, and the eerie music throughout accompanies such a great horror film. And The Conjuring 2, I am happy to say, is possibly even better than the first film. Once again, he truly terrifies me. I, I came home right away and was scared to go to bed. When you have a film like that, he has done his job well. Throughout the film, he has these jump scares. They're very subtle, and what I love about James Wan's movies is that they're subtle, they're not in your face, they're in the background, and you have to have a good eye to see them. And the jump scares are effective, they scare you, but they continue, and they go on and on, and it makes for a truly terrifying scene. And the music plays as a jump scare, too. Sometimes the music is just so loud, you just get freaked out. Once again, these characters are really well written. I really cared about Ed and Lorraine Warren because they seem like they're truly in love and she does not want to take this case whatsoever. You can tell that there's something going on inside her and her past that's really causing her to say no. And then you have Patrick Wilson who, oddly, seems like he enjoys doing this and he's there by her side and he's got that love relationship but they end up taking it and I don't know why, it's like... What? What? Why? Then you have this young family of a mother and, I believe, four kids. You can tell that this man, this old man, this demon, was really terrorizing his family and really bringing them down. He was in the house, he was climbing to the windows. Obviously, we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up, trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. It also has a storyline that progresses very nicely. We get the introduction of the family, and they're happy. And then this demon slowly starts to take over and you slowly get to see the family not be their normal selves. I love The Conjuring 2. It had a lot of scary moments. The old man and the nun in here were truly terrifying. It was had its subtle yet creepy moments throughout. I cared about the characters of Ed and Lorraine Warren and the family. I wanted them to survive and I wanted them to quit their jobs and go work a desk job and completely forget about this. Let's move on with our lives. I'm so happy that James Wan has become a great director at horror films because I love horror films and I don't really like the paranormal film because there's just too many of them and they're the same things over and over again. And here comes James Wan giving us the same thing that we have seen before has crafted it so well that I hope that more people will make horror films like these. So I'm going to go ahead and give The Conjuring 2 an A. This is Just Watch Movies with this review of The Conjuring 2. What did you guys think about it? Did you guys like it? Did you like it compared to the first one? Which one did you like more? This is Just Watch Movies with this review of The Conjuring 2. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Just Watch Movies for more career reviews. And you stay classy, YouTube.